Hello everyone and welcome back to Amnesia! We are... that looked really weird, my face just smelled like bleh because of screen lag. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know if that even came through on your end or it's just the way it appears on the screen, but welcome back to Amnesia. We're going to be playing something and hopefully get to fight something today because I've heard that's a lot of the fun of Amnesia is fighting the creepy whatever things that come after you, so that'll be fun. If we can get to that today, select... Continue. Take out my headphones. Ooh, there's a fly on my screen. Not a fly, one of those little gnats on my screen. It's like annoying me. Loading. With an upside down face with a scar and its thing. Oh, a couple things to mention. Uh, number one, this thing's, thing is driving me nuts. There we go, killed it. Finally, yeah, now I gotta, you Still loading. Alright. Couple, oh, there we go. Alright, couple things I want to talk about real quick. Got the gnat juice off my screen. Anyway, I even forgot where we were last time. It's been a little while since I filmed an episode of this. Um, I don't really think I need to, oh yeah, that's right. This is like some kind of weird tilt. Alright, um locked. Alright. Hmm. Anyway, a couple important announcements. Uh, one, the server. I know everyone like, was expecting us to change server worlds like a week ago. Uh, a week and a day ago, I think. Um, sorry. There are still people who need reses moved. I haven't been able to get on the server very much, so we will be doing that in the next couple days. I promise. We'll be getting to towards more um, lag free playing. Or less lag, anyway. And uh, so, if you need any last minute reses removed, send me a message in-game. Slash, mail, space, send, space, workshulk, space, message. So, like, slash, mail, space, send, space, workshulk, space, please move uh, with spaces so I can read what you're saying. The exact res name that you want moved, and I will move it and transfer the res to you in the new world. Um, so be aware of that. I will not reinstate the world after it has been deleted unless there's something really big to bring over and we rack up a lot of people who need stuff brought over, then maybe we'll do a run back to the old world. But unlikely. This is more than likely our last chance, so sorry, but things must happen to get a lag-free world, and this is one of them. So please, please, transfer your reses. Very important. Don't come crying to me when they don't get transferred because it's probably my fault anyway, but whatever. And I got a chair. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, I can close drawers with a chair. That is amazing. These people really thought of everything, didn't they? That is amazing. What was that, 14? Take my chair with me. Um, alright, so I have no idea what to do now. I would light all these, but I don't want to waste all my lighters. This door doesn't open. We already opened all of these things. Are these crates be useful for anything? I, like, get up onto the roof or something? I'm kind of confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, I probably should watch a run-through of how this works. Alright, I need to get over there. How do I pull this thing down? Or away, or push it away, or... Get back here and push it? No? Um, because I see, I think that's the way I need to go. I just need to open that up. What do I do to open it? Do I hit it with a crate? That sounds like a good solution to me. This is how to win at video games. If it doesn't work, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Alright. We need a better solution. If I light all of these, will it work? Is that what I have to do? waste all my little tinders. So like Luigi's Mansion where I have to light up a certain amount of stuff or something. Well that was a waste. That was a downright waste. Can I burn the filing cabinet down? Not filing cabinet, I keep calling it that. What is it? It's not a filing cabinet. It's... Alright, seriously, how do I open this? This is annoying. Guys, I'm sorry, but um no idea what to do. This is annoying. Uh, well, going back, is there anything else anywhere that we could do? Did a lever open up somewhere? 
Not that I can see. Is this one of those really weird impossible games where it's like, oh, there's an invisible level lever right on that block? Or is it one of those weird things? Because if it is, I'm going to be pretty mad about this. So there's nothing that way. There's nothing over there. Nothing this way. There is a piano. Nothing in there. Let's leave it open. Yeah, whatever. Cockroaches, that's useful. There are... There is this room, but I don't think there was anything in here. So I think all forward progress is to be made in that other room, I think. I, I don't know for sure. Um... Oh, sorry, tired. Big Bang Theory after that, dead. <laughs> maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, I don't know. But, come on, please, open, open, open. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what's going on. This is going to be a really boring episode if I just stand here walking around for 45 minutes. Like, ridiculously boring. More boring than you can imagine. Come on, please, tell me, how do I open this? Alright, um, would you guys call it cheating if I looked it up? Uh, I'm talking to you like, to you guys like you can answer me real time. Because honestly, I don't think it's very exciting to watch me sitting here, not able to do this. But I would like to figure it out on my own. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and look it up, because this is, this is just, <sighs> hmm. Uh, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Well, of course there's a way. But there's gotta be a way without looking it up that I can get it. Uh, not it. Putting books on the shelves does not fix the problem. Good to know. Um, OCD. Let's see. Can I, like, put something on the shelf to tip it? something heavy I can put on the shelf to tip it forward? Maybe a cinder block? Please let me pick up the cinder block. Dang it. I can't pick that up. What about this rock here? Uh, if I could put this on it to tip it forward, would that work? Up at the top? Nope. You don't fall. Dang it. Dang it. Anything up there? What if I grab it and I pull it forward? All right, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, all right, guys, I understand this board for you. I'm gonna grab my iPad and look it up. Okay. And I'm back. Let's look this up and see where we're at. Alright, so what would you call this? Amnesia... Um... Because I understand this, guy, this is very boring for you guys to watch me just circling a room, so I'm sorry. Amnesia... How to get past... Um... I, I could just look up a general amnesia walkthrough. Alright, Amnesia Walkthrough, The Dark Descent. Here we go. I'm only going to read until I find out how to fix this problem. Then I may refer back to it later when I'm confused as hell. Alright. <sighs> oh, once more horror fans, blah blah, blah intro, blah, blah blah, basic strategy, follow the liquid trail. I did that, entrance hall. Mmm, yeah, we already did that. Archives, already did that. Mmm. Secret door in a local history room. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright. If you get too close, you'll notice that there's another room behind it. This way to make this shelf move is by pulling three books fast enough. See, I never would have gotten that, guys. I'm sorry, but I never would have figured that out. Alright, we have to pull three books off of it very fast, apparently. So, let's get that out of the way. Well, um, 
Wait, maybe it was off one of these shelves? Wait a second. What's that noise? It might be onto something. There's another book to pull. Um. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Oh wait, never mind, I don't. I thought I knew what was going on. So I miss my opportunity here. Where's the next book to pull? Where's the next book to pull? Where is it? Show me the way! Please? Um... So it looks like that... No... Alright, let's try this again. Useless. Maybe they're all off the same shelf. Come on, I was I got my hopes up for nothing. Alright, let's see what it says here. Pulling three books fast enough. Is on the shelf to the left from where you entered this room. Don't worry, the three books all look the same and are very easy to spot. Yeah, apparently not. It's the bright colored book that is simply screaming to be pulled out. Pull the first book and you'll hear the mechanism start moving. The second and third books are on the shelf facing the main door on the other side. The second book is near the secret door, while the third book is near the glass cases. Alright, so the first book is there. And the second book is... Come on, this is pathetic. Alright. Let's reread this. I'm so sorry about having to go through a tutorial, guys. I know this is boring. The first book is on the shelf to the left from where you enter this room. Don't worry, the three books all look the same and are very easy to spot. Yeah, right. It's the brightest colored book that is simply screaming to be pulled out. Or it's the bright colored book, sorry. No superlatives. Pull the first book and you'll hear the mechanism to start moving. Improper grammar. The second and third books are on the shelf facing the main door on the other side. Facing the main door on the other side. What does that mean? Is Where is the main door? Is this the main door? Is this the main door? Main door on the other side. Other side would be here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I mean... No. It's got to be in this room. All right. Um, one book looks like that. Bright blue. And... I don't see any other books that look like that. Bright blue is just... Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Hey. It's skinny young guy playing amnesia. Because that's who I am in the game. Skinny young strong guy. Alright. Pull the book. Pull it. Pull it. Alright. Now pull this book. Now where is the third one? Yes! Yes! We are victorious with the use of cheats. We are victorious! And I... Turn this off. I hacked into it and customized the sound it makes when it turns off, so it says, Device locked. Back when I thought that was cool. Um, Alright, so let's continue onwards. We have passed the puzzle with just a little bit of help from our friends on the internet. Um, oh, painting. Let's study this painting very carefully. There will be a quiz later on. And they're not doing anything for me. Alright. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting the way they tied that horse's tail into a ponytail kind of thing. Ah, I see what you did there. It's a bun. That doesn't look like a stable staircase, does it? Not stable at all. 
Just not stable. Hey, look, a key. Maybe we can unlock the jam monster. Picked up wine cellar key. Ooh, boy, we can go into a wine cellar and get all drunk. Um, found ink. Huh. Wow. Maybe I'll go under the ink. Ink. Go on. Can't I pick up the ink? Oh, it disappeared. Well, that's not what ink normally does, unless it's disappearing ink. Which you can get at Hinkle's for, what, like, five tickets? That's not supposed to happen. Let's put this mat on the shelf. Oh. No, 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 you go on the shelf. High up on the shelf, too, might I add. No, 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 you don't get it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. That is the kind of thing that just makes... Some people just want to see the world burn, and I'm not one of them. I want to see the mats put on the proper place on the shelf, unlike some people. Not pointing any fingers. The guy at Walmart. So I was at Walmart a couple while ago, and there was this guy, and he was just kind of sitting there talking to himself, going like this and staring at a Cheetos bag. It was the weirdest thing. No, it wasn't the weirdest thing, but it was weird. So what was I even supposed to be doing in here? Oh, I can open something. He was just staring, he was just like, fixated and talking to himself and doing this, and it was just a Cheeto bag on the floor. I assume he was staring at it. All right, so now what? Now what do we do? I, I don't want to have to consult the internet again. I want to be able to figure this out myself, because I'm smart. And that's what my mom told me, and that's what I'm going with now. <laughs> But, um, I would really like to figure this out myself. There must be something in one of the drawers. Hey, look at no, what do you know? It's not gonna read it. I get to read it, oh boy! Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. Well, that's not nice. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. I have the key to the wine cellar. Very useful, very effective. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. So he is against alcohol. He's one of these guys that was like with the whole Alcohol, and Re alcohol Reform Act or whatever they called it, where it was like, no, 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 you can't have alcohol, and then the mafia, and not the mafia gangs, are like, oh, really? And they're like, we make wine, like a sir, and then they're like, ha, ah, shoot you, bang, bang, and then they're all dead. Except one. And he was a prisoner of Azkaban. No, actually, he went to, um, prison. What's that prison called? Azkaban, not Azkaban. Um... San Francisco, off the cor off the coast of San Francisco, I've seen it from the shore, uh, it's called, well, I can't remember this, I feel like an idiot, um, Alcatraz, Alcatraz, that's it, that's it, that's it, Alcatraz, thank you, white text, I'm assuming I'm gonna put, remember to put white text there, Alcatraz, yes, he was a prisoner of Alcatraz, I think that was what it was related to, if it's not, well, someone washed Alcatraz's clothing and made a book, so, whatever, we're all cool, alright, is there more? That's the end, alright. Put that drawer back in, see if there's anything useful in this drawer. I was almost expecting a white t-shirt. Nope. Mm, what is that, a book? And a book? Uh, not very useful. I don't want to see the world burn. Actually, it would be slightly amusing, but... No. I'm trying to see... I'm, like, crouching like that's gonna really help, right? I'm trying to see if there's anything back there, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, so now what? Do I really have to use my last tinderbox on this? Is that really what I have to do? I doubt it is. Gotta have a chair! Oh, what? What's the score? Oh, I didn't throw it in the hallway. That was pathetic. That was pathetic! Yeah. What, wait, that's still not the hallway. Hey, look, the door opened! Oh. It's all dark. Hey, look, chairs. These were probably put here by me. Just saying. Um. 
open! Alright, fine. We believe that there's old tomes. Oh, that opens. Alright, nice. Let's see what's inside. Mmm, ink. Tinderbox. What is this? A tinderbox? Alright, guy's starting to freak out, so let's go back into the light before we lose all of our sanity. Because I really don't know what happens when you lose your sanity, and I don't think I want to find out. So, alright, dude, we all good? Alright, cool. Back out into the hallway. Two-way t-shirts? Oh, no. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Alright, for a second I thought that back was like a scroll, but it wasn't. Alright, um... Is there anything else around here? Chairs, table... Let's go back into this room and see. Alright, so we have some books, assorted books, tables, um, a chest down here. Open! Oh, wait, I gotta turn my screen on. There we go. Sorry. Open, 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 open. Slam, 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 slam. Alright, this is not helping. Um. Now what do I do? I have a chair, you better be- Oh, I let go of it. Whoops. Alright, well, let's take this. Take this chest and see if maybe if we slam that rock against it? I don't know. Maybe it's not even made to be open. Maybe I'm, like, going on a wild goose chase here. Or wild goose hunt. We'll go quail hunting! Haha, <laughs> done quail. What now? If, if you didn't get the joke, never mind. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Um, are these boxes good for anything? Can I break something open with them? Where'd that other thing go? Where'd that chest go? It's out here. Alright. Um. Can we use this to break this open? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, anything else? What about this up here? Are these... Alright, I don't see anything. Um... God, now I get to figure this all out. Let's see. I think we've pretty much gotten everything out of this room. As far as I know. I'm gonna go over here. Is there anything? No, alright, in this door you said it won't budge. Well, you didn't say that, I said that. It won't budge! It won't budge! Let's try again later. Mwahaha. Tired, sorry. Uh, let's try going this way. I hear something. Oh. That doesn't look good. I don't think we want to run into that thing. Stunned back, I have a chair. He better be afraid. Wait, I get an itch in my head. Alright. Now he better be afraid. I honestly have no idea what the strategy is here, so I'm probably gonna get killed. Um Where'd he go? Let's see him. Behind me? Hmm. Don't see him here. Don't see him at all. Wait a second. If I die, do I have to start all over? I'm gonna look that up real quick, okay? Because if I do, then I'm gonna look up the strategy for this. Uh, this is a good web page, so I'm gonna save it. New tab. Um, Alright, let's see here. Amnesia if you die. What happens if you die amnesia? Here we go. Um, Let's 
let's see here. Oh, the guy has a nice avatar from Plants vs. Zombies. That's nice. First encounter with a monster has no negative drawbacks whatsoever. Um, save for sanity, both Daniel and yours. Daniel's physical health will remain intact. Stay out of the water. Has anyone gone to the old archives yet? Once you've gotten what you're looking for there, don't go back to the cave in from the other side where the piano is. Trust me, save yourself the trouble and the fright. A small tip for people playing when you get down the, the dungeon, they use two, the, two thes, which annoys me. I don't know. <laughs> After the elevator, there is a study, sturdy metal gate. Trust me when I say that shuttering, shutting that gate won't stop something from chasing you. Not the hard way. Um, hmm. Hmm. Same place. Blah, 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 blah. Anything was there in the first place. No one's saying what happens when you die. I didn't die in my first playthrough. Listening to the commentary, they thoroughly tested the difficulty because they found that if people died, it made the game worse, but if it was too easy, people found it boring. If you keep on your toes, you shouldn't die. Interesting thing they mentioned in the commentary is that should you die, the bit which kills you slightly adjusts so you don't play through the exact same thing again. It sounded like these bits uh, that change are the adrenaline sequences. You don't need to quit and save. The Odyssey feature is fine. Blah, blah, blah. Um... Um, hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm having trouble finding out if you this person says if you die you start all over. Um hmm. Alright, what happens when you die? Oh, this is about actually, actually amnesia, the disease. All right, that's not very useful to me, because I don't currently suffer from memory loss that I know of. At least not severe. All right, um... All right, well, whatever. Oops, that video just glitched out. All right, whatever, here we go. I hate that, I'm going to change that. All right, here we go, um, finding the monster another itch. Let's see if there's anything useful here first. Um, Tinderbox. No, so there's never anything of interest in these bottom two drawers. I should probably just stop checking them. Anything in there? No. Alrighty. Alrighty. See, I don't know what to expect with... Alright, I've already been here, I guess. Yeah. Let's open all this anyway. Let's see. Nope. Hey, a tinderbox. Never mind about me not having to check the bottom ones. At least the second one. Thing in there. So many tinderboxes do I have? Um, that's not what I want. What is it? E, no, R, T, Y, tab. Tab. Five tinder boxes and a little bit of oil on our lamp. So I don't quite know what to do when this monster comes for me, but I guess we'll pick up a chair and find out. Ah. Yeah, I just explored the whole area. I saw him turn into here. He's got to be around here somewhere. I want to kill, I want to taste blood. Although, from what I've heard, I don't think you can kill the monster, can you? Um, haven't opened this. Alright, lame and not very useful. But the useful. Um, hmm. Candles, books. Hmm. Is this door open? 
have a feeling this is a bad idea. Dry, crusted lips. That's all you need to know from that story. Is that like the monster howling, or...? Alright, so that's just random sludge. Is that gonna hurt us? Ouch. Yeah, that is gonna hurt us. So what do I do? How's our health? What was it? Tab? Health, all is good. Heart is pounding and hands are shaking. Alright. So I don't think I want to walk over that again. Do I just jump? That worked. Wait a second. Have we already been here and it just... Hey, the jam monster's visited. And he is serious. <laughs> it's breathing. Some creepy jam. So let's see. Um, there's no way through. I hear weird howling, screaming kind of sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear this very well, but that's where we are at. Hmm. Seeing anything very exciting? Let's try going down this dark alleyway. Ooh, I can sing the Friday song. Which way do I take? No. This way. Wait, what's this way? I have this weird feeling of already being... have been here. Um... Wine cellar. Hey! Use the key on the door. Well, how do I... Key. Alright. Tag reads wine cellar. Use. Use. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, how do I... Alright, this is pathetic. I have a key and I can't use it. I don't have, like, a hand or anything. I don't have a hand I can put it in. I can't, like, drag it to any of these locations. Alright, I don't know how to use the key. This is... Tag reads wine cellar. Alright, great. Do I click here? Where is the key? This is driving me nuts. I have it in my inventory. I know where it is. Open the damn door! <laughs> open it! Open, open, open! Come on! <laughs> ah. I click on enough, will it just work? Oh, look at us knocker. Let's knock, see if the guy opens the door for us. Hmm. Board. No idea how to open this stupid. Nope, not there. Alright, so I have a key. I also have a chemistry pot, which I don't think is very useful. I have a key. I said I have a key. This is ridiculous. I have the Reed's wine cellar. This is the wine cellar. Correct, yes. Where do I put the stinking key? If this is sad, I'm looking this up. Also turn my volume down so it doesn't do the annoying device locked. Alright. Let's go back to that good tutorial we had. There's a little spider on my screen. One of those really tiny little ones. Alright. Oh, alright. The first thing that you have to know about this game is that there is no way of fighting back against whatever thing it is that is hurting you. Your only options are to run away or hide in a room or a closet. Sometimes you can also hide in a corner where there is darkness to avoid being detected. Sanity plays... This is important information. We better know this. Or I better know this. Sanity plays a big role in this game... Uh, in the game. The more you stay in dark areas of the light, the worse your sanity gets. Sanity is represented in the game by how clear your vision is and how easy you are to control. The worse the condition of your sanity is, the more your vision tends to blur and become weary, and the more harder you are to get around it as if you're drunk. Your sanity is sometimes forced by the game as a part of an important situation, but sometimes you can recover it slowly by staying near lights. Before you begin exploring the castle, it's important to make sure that the key configuration suits you well. Make sure that the controls are running left and right, crouching and bringing up the lantern are easier for you to do and use. Basic controls, blah, 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 blah picking up objects, throwing objects, moving objects. Basic strategy, when staying in a room, always close the door behind you. 
You never know when a monster might suddenly wander around nearby and spot you. It is good practice to always shut the door behind you to avoid being discovered. Even if a monster senses you and starts making sounds, it'll take a few seconds for it to break down the door to your room, giving you enough time to hopefully hide in a dark corner or inside a cabinet. Always leave one of the cabinet's doors open when you're in a room. Find a cabinet and leave one of its doors open. If ever you hear a monster approach, you can quickly hide inside and wait until the monster leaves the room. Always leave doors to potential hiding places open. As you explore the castle, you encounter large hallways. Uh, there are times in the game where a monster will suddenly wander around and you'll have to quickly find a hiding place. Having the doors already open will save you time so that all your... Uh, oh, I thought my screen was dimming. So that's all your... Um, Blah, 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 something. Conserve tinder boxes and oil. Um, you'll only be able to find a few of these, so don't waste them all in just one area. Oops. Light up important areas. Since you are on a limited supply of tinder boxes and oil, only light up areas that could serve as a place to regain your sanity. Good places to light up are inside rooms where it's relatively safe, so you can actually spend some time regaining sanity, and corners of hallways so that you'll have a better view of what might be there. So. Um, don't panic. Alright. Uh, wine cellar. Let's go down to that. Mm, oop, chip the laboratory. I don't remember this. Wine cellar. Here we go. Another weird sound. Nothing to worry about. As you reach the bottom of the stairs, you hear a bunch of women's men being happy. Oh, this is like. This is like assuming you're able to get into the wine cellar. It doesn't tell you how to get in. Ah, <laughs> this is the scary part of this game, the fact that you can't figure out how to do stuff. Bleh. new tab, Google, Google. What's our health doing? Our sanity is not very good. Figured. Alright, so what am I looking up? Amnesia, how to use keys. It's probably going to pull up things for how... Oh my god, someone forgot how to use their keys. They probably have amnesia. Not what I'm looking for. How to use keys. I really feel bad for anyone who actually has amnesia or anything. That would be horrible. How do I use the key to the wine cellar on the wine? This is exactly my question. Let's hope someone answered it. Double click the key in your inventory, then click the door. It's that easy. Alright. I turned the volume off. It didn't make that noise. Double click. There we go. Alright, ready for a bunch of creepy, spooky, drunk people? Wine cellar. Load. Load. We're waiting for you. Alright, I'm in. Let's see here. How long have we been running? For about almost 40 minutes. I think I'm going to end the episode probably pretty soon here. Didn't make much progress, unfortunately. Um, is that blood or wine? Or my guy's really losing his sanity. Oh, bright light. He should be able to regain sanity in the bright light. Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> guys don't plan for the future. So we are quickly losing sanity. Oh, wait. Yep, losing sanity. So let's find an area we can light up. Crap, we better run. Does not sound good. Alright. Let's light this up and recover some of our guys' sanity. Which will slowly resume with time. Only time will tell. Do you hear footsteps? Do you hear footsteps? I hear footsteps. Do you hear footsteps? I hear footsteps. How's our sanity doing? Still dot dot dot. Alright, let's just camp it out here. 
Let's read the server logs, what's happening in the Minecraft server. Destined to be, is the penthouse unbuilt, Dole? It is, destined. So it's not built, Dole? Yep, destined. Okay, how about this? Two mil and I'll build it, Dole. I gotta finish one more floor before I built it. Bit it. B-U-I-T it. No deal. Destined, what room is this? Hikerak just healed himself and changed his game mode. Dole, large, that's Sold's room. Destined, for sale, Dole? Nope. Destined, oh, Dole, this is Sold Witches. Destined. Destined. Is there another one? Dole. Yeah. Dole. I'm building it. Destined. Built. And that's where the chat ends. And they're probably talking. Alright. Dole. And I'm thinking of living in it. Destined. Oh, cool. Whoa, wait. What's going on? I thought we were regaining sanity. Yeah, we are regaining sanity. Why did it just go like, whoa, blood colors? Woo! It's kind of weird. Hear footsteps. Do you hear footsteps? I hear footsteps. Do you hear footsteps? I gotta stop doing that. It's so catchy though. Do you hear footsteps? You can tell I'm not taking this game very seriously. Ah, oh, dang it! Stupid screensaver. <laughs> footsteps. I don't know if the video is going a little bit weird for you as I'm watching the video feed of myself. It's kind of like going loop, loop, and flickering a little bit. I don't know if it's doing that for you, but it might be a cool effect if it does. So. Yeah, see, so you just flicker it again right there. I don't know. I hope it's not doing that on your guys' end, but it might be a cool effect if it does. Our pounding hands are shaking. Let's try to get to where we have a mild headache. Speaking of which, I have still an itch on my head. What is with itching and playing this game? I swear. It's weird. Very weird. I'm tired. Mm. Um, sarcasm is directly proportional to tiredness of me my level of energy. Although when energy peaks, I can be very sarcastic. Alright, so how's our sanity now? Heart is pounding. Alright, we're still waiting. Once sanity reheals, I think I'm going to stop this episode. 45 minutes is about good. Uh, give me a little bit of time to read up on maybe a strategy guide or two so I can actually know what to do. Um, please leave in the comments below whether you want me to do that or not. Uh, I'll probably film the next episode... I want to say Thursday night. This is Tuesday night, so time I have it uploaded Wednesday morning, Wednesday noonish. Um, so yeah, if you leave a comment before I film, I because I'll, I'll look it up like you know an hour or so before I film. So uh, if you comment saying, "Oh yeah, don't," "Oh yeah, do that," or "Oh you know, don't do that," I'll I'll kind of take suggestions there as far as whether you want me to know what's coming up or not. But it's kind of nice knowing what's coming up because I don't get stuck in these and like. Hey guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of confused. You know, that's not very exciting for you guys. And uh, knowing how to get away from the monster could be very useful. It might stop us from restarting, like someone on the forum said. But they might just be trolling. I don't know. I haven't been told yet. I haven't had the chance to find out. But anyway, also, if you know what happens when you die in amnesia, please comment that below. That would be very useful. Very useful information, assuming you're not trolling. Even if you're trolling, it'll be a good laugh when the opposite happens. And I'm like, no! Or you liar! With a real knife. <laughs> real invisible knife, instead of a fake virtual invisible knife. Big difference there, actually, because both are useless. Now you ruined my day. <laughs> see how our sanity's doing. A slight headache. Alright, so our sanity's going good again. Thank you for joining us. Please leave in the comments below whether you would like me to know what's coming up or not, uh, so I can, one, kind of speed through it and with my usual sarcastic, oh, look at that, or maybe I'll get scared, who knows, um, or whether you want me to just go at it without having any idea what's going on. So leave your comments below, and I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me.